a sacrifice has been made hell the falcon has pulled what is undoubtedly the biggest sacrifice in this arc thus far i mean of course aside from everybody giving their lives for whether they think it's the right cause or not in the rebel army or the royal army hell saved literally everyone else on the ground level still alive still fighting for what they believe in sorry this this intro started a little daunting ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel my name is jack the boss for i shinobi with episodes 126 and 127 of our one piece watch through today things have been heating up into another level in the last couple of episodes it's the climax of this arc luffy is facing off against crocodile he's been scratched by his hook which supposedly has poison but he said like you obviously don't know what's happening and i'm like yeah i don't know what's happening either hopefully we'll get filled in in these next two if you're new to the channel drop us up and hit that big boy bell let's hop right into it poor vivi just has to witness that too the palace is saved everything is saved dude just like the smile oh it's so sad and they really showed how he was always there for her like that right before him oh my god usopp's on the ground we have really seen the resolve of Alabarna's like i don't know just their troops in general especially like those four that gave their lives like knowing they were going to die or that they they drink like the wh wh whatever it was knowing it would make them stronger trying to give their lives like they're they're just here for the country in general trying to fight for what they think is right <laughs> What is happening? It truly is marking the start of a new age. It's just complete chaos and war. It's like nothing even matters to them anymore. It's just pure chaos. The the juxtaposition of the, the doll on the ground. My God. This innocence mixed with pure brutality. Is that Vivi screaming? And just how Pell just gave his, his life so that they could just keep on fighting. It's so sad. She just feels so helpless, like so out of options. Like I said, that even Pell would give his life and they just keep on going. Like nothing is going to stop this. What can they do? They're just so out of the loop on how led astray they've they've been. <laughs> Cargadon doesn't even know that the the whole plan with the cannon failed. He's poisoned. He's just straight up just willpower getting him up. Damn. Oof. <laughs> Let's go, baby! God, Crocodile is so confident that dude, there's blood all over him. I mean, it's almost like that's that's what he wanted. Just to get beat up more so he could use it. Thoughtless remarks. How dare you? Tons of rookie, rookies have said rookies brought you this far, Crocodile! Genuinely! He's ready to end it. Okay! Let's go! Oh my god, he actually broke it. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> I am the man who will surpass you. Absolute animals, these showrunners, man. The broken hook. It's almost symbolic. Let's go, dude! Luffy going all out, baby. This is what I've wanted. Push to his limits. Oh! He, he, he's straight up taking no breaks on him. Oh my God. He's literally just whipping him around. He's nothing. He tore the coat. He tore the coat. No, he didn't. Never mind. It looked torn. It did kind of fall off more of his shoulder, though. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Dude. He's almost scaring me. The first he heard of him, I think. Yeah. 
Every time he's gotten up. No, he was always coming for him. No shot, brother! From who knows where. Where is Luffy from? That is a genuinely good question. What was that town? Damn, Sanji would be so proud! He's about to just fall. How? <laughs> Why is he just floating? Oh no. He's got like a cyclone. That move is so cool. What? He's so large! Was that water? Water over your air? It's air! Just blew himself up there! Mum Mum Storm? Let the needle boom! Let's go! That has to break like every bone in his goddamn body. Look at him! Was that from Crocodile's move? Why is it collapsing? Is that from Luffy punching? No way! <laughs> okay, dude. Oh my God, man, he erupted the earth, punching him through. I was right, there was a cannon underground. It was Luffy's goddamn fist. <laughs> <laughs> they go, they're gonna see him. We're all gonna see him. Usopp has the chalkboard. Chopper's trying to eat someone. And guess who's under him? I wonder if Crocodile will see in midair. The city is still up. It's still standing. VV sees him. It's such a beautiful sight. The tyrant that caused all of this. And Luffy's straightforward task. Damn. <laughs> they just know. They just know. It, it reminds me of just Arlong. It's just like, he's just done it. It's just what he does. The thing is though, how do you stop this, this bloodshed? God, dude, the scale of it is insane. Oh my God. He's alive still? What? How? It's rain. How? It's because he... He lost? The only thing that could stop it. It's like an anomaly for the people of Alabasta to see rain. Only thing. Why would this happen now? The sand and everything, it's all clear now. Washing away the confusion. And she's finally heard. Damn. Both the rebels and the royal, they see her. Oh my god! Oh my god! It, it, it feels it feels crazy to see him laying there like that oh my goodness it's so deadly silent it's all been withheld because of crocodile damn holy sh what a shot. 
straw hat. It's a goddamn smile on his face. Like he wasn't just on the brink. Oh my god, what an absolute conclusion. That OST at the end, like, I, I was like, I was like stunned. And to see Crocodile laying there is so crazy. It's just like someone that seems so unreachable laying there defeated. I just love the he did it, like his whole crew, like they know exactly what happened. Episode 127, let's run it. They just have such good shots in this show. The wide pans of just, and you just see like silhouettes. There's, there's one that they do a lot where it's like two characters and it's very like a blank kind of foreground. I don't know. I love them so much. It almost is nightmares because so much of it is like fake and not real and forced upon them. It's fair questioning though. That's very fair. The fallen bird. It's, I mean, realistically, it isn't that, that easy, that simple. They've been fighting for a reason. At least they thought. Oh. Shaka and Koza are built. Ingram! Let's go! I was wondering when you'd show up. Bro, Vivi. Oh. Oh, man. And there she goes. Chopper's so out of the loop. Chopper, it was before your time, buddy. I'm sorry. That kid is the one that saw everything. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And Koza can fill them in too. I just expect, like, I picture some dude that's like all the way in the back, like, hey, guys, what are they talking about up there? Please, somebody fill me in. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. All the fighting stopped. She's saying, where's everyone? Is she talking about Luffy and them? I think she is. They're looking for Luffy, I think. Aww. <laughs> That's our captain. One of ours. The ones who changed everything, yes. <laughs> it took him a second. And he sleeps. Just like always. Yeah. Huh. Wait, why is it neutralized? Am I dumb? <sighs> it feels like such a breath of fresh air, man. They did it. They actually did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> they need some rest. Just legends. Absolute legends. <laughs> My god, they all need rest. They all just pass out simultaneously. <laughs> right next to their captain. Oh? Understood captain's wait, what? Is she filling him in? What's the Navy gonna do? Can they apprehend a warlord? Is that allowed? Oh, they have evidence. I guess they know that he's the president, yeah. No way. Oh my gosh. Does that mean he's not a warlord anymore? Get out! The Supersonic Duck Squadron! Wait, she's stripping him of his rights to... Sorry. Does that genuinely mean he's not no longer a warlord? Bonkle! Bonkle! It's something they just have to live with, yeah. A king must lead his people. He stands tall after all of it. It survives. It's like they're so unequivocally grateful they don't have to fight anymore. 
They didn't want to in the first place. They just thought they had to. It feels like such a peace in my heart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who are you? The white hunter? Who are you? Oh my my, who are you? Elite unit. Artificial rain making shit. Oh. Mm. Seems they've known each other for a long time, then. Interesting. Oh, the chance to capture them and take them in. Wow. Legend. He told her to make her own decisions and lead them. And she knows it's because of them, especially for, because of her interaction with Luffy, that he was after Crocodile. He actually lives through all of this? That is absurd. Go find him. There's a lot of recovery to be done. Oh man, every town just must be overjoyed. Oh, it's prosperous now. It's beautiful. Oh, <laughs> they watching over the ship, bro. Oh, he kept going and kept going. He stayed with Yuba. <laughs> Your old man told you so. Just the, the sound of the rain is so calming after all of this. It's, it's felt so, uh, I don't know, so sad with how dry and barren the landscape has been. Oh my gosh, that night night's rest afterward, that would hit different. Bro, Iganem, can we talk about how the hell you lived, brother? I think she's so so excited. To, yeah, it's like Christmas Eve, except Miss Merry Christmas is a uh, rip bozo smoking on that Miss Christmas pack. True facts. I hate how it keeps cutting to that statue. It makes me so sad. Night falls, the new day dawns, a very new day. Miss Hina, that's her name. Tashigi's back! I bet you're tired. I don't think he he's even upset about that in, in the slightest. He did the exact same. Yeah her own justice. He let them leave because he understood it was a better idea. It's like Smoker's questioning everything ever he's ever known. She's very confused. She's very lost in her own uh, direction. I mean, whenever you've lived one way, seeing pirates one way the entire time, and then everything's thrown into chaos when a warlord, someone involved with the government does this sort of thing. Oh, shoot! Hell yeah! Oh, true, actually. Wow. Is he actually going to... I don't think they care that pirates did. They don't want to give pirates that honor. The straw hats. I'm surprised he actually says it, but I mean, Smoker seems like a stand-up dude. Yeah. The fact that a warlord was this corrupt. Mm. Hina based? Oh, man. If he doesn't accept it, then it's obviously being covered up. Old geezers at the top. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Giga Chad Smoker though. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? I mean, who knows if they're this corrupt to pair up with people like Crocodile, knowing how powerful like warlords and stuff like that are. I don't know, man. I, that scares me. But my goodness, what an absolutely banger into this, this sort of climax. There's a lot to, to sort of wrap up here though. I mean, everything from whatever our next destination is, the state of Alabasta, this entire thing with, with Smoker and Hashi, I think is a very big big precursor to the next events because we're starting to see the, these sort of changing of worldviews of literal marines people that we previously thought were just like kind of headstrong about one path of life but are starting to realize the corruption in their own system but like i said it feels like a breath of fresh air to just to, to see rain it's like i feel that peace in my heart but what an absolute banger battle to end all of this on luffy versus crocodile probably my favorite fight of this series thus far after 127 episodes by far the best fight i think arlong is a close second it felt like like luffy was really pushed to his limits and like it was almost fatal like there was there was not much else he could do he was going off of sheer willpower but guys that's been it for episodes 126 and 127 of our one piece watch so do drop a sub on the channel if you are new with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace